Richard Jolie here for seconds out, joined by Joe Cordina, IBF World Super Featherweight Champion. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. Especially with that introduction, it all <laughs> sounds nice being introduced as a world champion. But yeah, um, I'm all good, thank you, bro. Back in camp, a little bit sore, but other than that, I'm good, man. Yeah, Shavkat Rakimov, your opponent over in Dubai as well. Where the money's at, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm in a contract, so um, my money haven't changed too much. But uh, yeah, maybe if there's fights in the future, and obviously get through this one. Um, maybe some big money can be made over there. Yeah, it's a good fight though. Um, he's been on the zone before. He's fought Joe Diaz, a draw mm. in that fight as well. What yeah. do you make of him? How do you kind of rank him? Yeah, he's a tough fighter. Um, he's good amateur. Um, uh, good pro, strong pro. Yeah, so we, I'm I'm in for a tough, tough night. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not taking this one lightly. He's um he's a big boy. He can punch, he's good coming forward. Um yeah, so I'm I'm expecting a hard, really hard fight. I'm gonna have to dig my toes in, grip my grip uh butt down on my gum shield and proper dig in. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Because I've like I said, I won a, a guy he was. One, only one one. Only one one. Whether it's this one I don't know, but I'm looking forward to this fight. Yeah, and how much confidence from your last fight have you now got just in training camp? Because the opponent was there. Some people thought you weren't going to get the win that night. The way you won it must give you so much um, yeah, added confidence in your power, but in your ability going into this fight in Dubai. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, obviously, like you said, there's certain people that didn't really want to, uh, well, didn't believe that I'd win that fight. But... Um, when else I believe in myself I've, from day dot all I've said is I'll, win, I'll be a world champion if not if it's when mm. um, my first shot at the world title I won it um, and it was in tremendous fashion so for me to win that I knew I had power it's just I never had to show it do you understand I've always boxed within myself and I, I haven't really got out of second gear which is mad to say I've won a world title in 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 second gear crazy yeah. Haven't had no marks on my face in 15 fights and being a world champion, but I'm going to carry um, a lot of confidence going into this next fight. Uh, it's like I'm in the gym now and it's, it feels like a weight's being lifted off my shoulders because I put so much pressure, even though I didn't like to say it, I put so much pressure on myself to becoming a world champion and winning a world title and whatever else. And I've done it now and that weight is lifted off my shoulders. Um. Um, yeah, it's just like I'm, I'm enjoying my training and even though it's my first week back with the boys and whatever, like, it seems like I'm, I'm not aching. I'm not, I don't know whether it's mental for me, but it's, um, it's, it's a great feeling and, I, I, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to this fight because I know the confidence I'm going to have going into it. Also, um, i got people coming over with me as well to support and me being a world champion, like, I know it's hard winning it, but it's hard keeping it also but at the same time I'm willing to work double hard to keep it Is there anything that you have to take into consideration going over to Dubai I know it's hot out there fight week you're going to be doing a bit of warm weather training is there anything time wise or the fact that it's nah, not in the UK I, you have to I've been, I, I've been doing the warm weather training yeah, I've been over in Malta I've been in Malta yeah exactly um, so I went there for three weeks as my holiday, mm. I came back, um, and then I went back over to start my my sort of pre camp. So obviously Tony was going away to not Isle of Wight. We was on about going. Yeah, to we spoke then. I remember. Yeah. 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 So we went to the Isle of Wight, and then I was doing my pre camp in in Malta. So it was thirty seven degrees. I know it's not as hot as the um the Bay and Abu Dhabi and whatever, but and the Middle East, but um. I was still training. There was no air when I'm doing my hill sprints. I'm in the gyms. It's boiling hot. They got a couple of fans or maybe a little bit of air con on and whatever else. But I was making sure whatever gym I was in and I had control in there, turn the fans off, turn the air con off. I made it as uncomfortable for myself as possible. So I know it's going to be uncomfortable out there. I know it's going to be air con arenas and all that stuff. But um, 
my runs, I was doing six, sometimes seven mile plods, hill sprints, sprints, um, in thirty seven degrees, yeah. boiling hot, and I wasn't waiting for the morning. I was doing it at twelve o'clock, the hottest time of the day. So, yeah, I've before, like I prepared myself. I was just preparing myself. So, yeah, it was it's good to do a little bit like that. Don't get me wrong. It was one day off. I was running, and someone asked me if I wanted water. On the way, Joe, do you want water? I said, No, nah, I'm good. I was about three mile in. <laughs> On the way back, I'm, I was thinking, Fuck, you know, yeah, I should have took that water. I was gonna go over, but no, nah, it was good. I was, um, yeah, I was okay in the end, and got through that. But every every run after that, I took water with me. <laughs> when do you want to unify, Joe? ASAP. I'm thirty. Oh, I'm thirty-one coming up. Um, I don't want to look past this fight. This is the fight that I got to get over to do anything, any sort of unification or anything like that. I got to win, and I got to beat Rakimov. So, for me, um, get this one out of the way, and then I can sort of think about that. Don't get me wrong; you like to sort of plan out uh, your your sort of routes and what you want to do next and that. But my main focus now is to to uh, win on November fifth. Of course. How do you plan on doing that, executing that performance? Just being me. Um, like I haven't. How can I say? It's like I am. I've yet showed the best of me. It's and it's crazy to think I won a world title with not showing the best of me. So, um, yeah. Um, I just be me. Got to listen to Tony. Listen to what he has to say. Um, my instructions and follow him to the T. And me being me and boxing how I know I can fight, then I don't see why I won't come away with a win. I remember hearing you were at Tony's in the build-up to the Ogawa fight. Are you eight weeks in the hotel for this one? <laughs> nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm back in Tony's tomorrow. So it's only <laughs> this week, so I'm back there. So I'm back in a, a um, I'm back in a big house. <laughs> so he must be obviously busy preparing for. October eighth as well. Um, busy man, Tony. Yeah, for sure. You got um, Connor, Felix, you've got George, Lillard, Maisie, um, and then you've got the likes of Dempsey's fighting shortly after. Mm. Um, Ryder potentially coming up. Um, myself, you got Spider in the gym. Um, and he's he's fighting very soon. He potentially on my card. I don't know uh what the, the situation is, but I know he'll be fighting soon. So mm. everyone in the gym is everyone that fights for us is in the gym because they got fights coming up. So it's a good environment to be in at the minute. Um and yeah, like you seen the, I don't know if you've seen the photo on my Instagram today, all of us on the track this morning. Um that's a proper firm. And like for us to be training alongside each other constantly, it's just going to boost the sun. Do you understand? It's like the boys that I'm training with motivate me. Of course. And I hopefully I motivate them also. So, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's a nice uh, nice feeling when you've got everyone in at the same time. Do you think he could be in with training of the year? We've seen John Ryder, big win. Of course, the, your fight. Um, Connor's yeah. in a massive fight as well. And the year's not even done. Genuinely, I don't, I don't understand how we haven't won it already. Mm. There was a, there was a, um, a time when there was myself, you had Ted, you had uh, Spider. Obviously, he trains with Peter, but he does a lot of stuff with us. Uh, yeah. Like in our, we he's in our gym and we're from the same gym. Yeah. Who else was there? Um, you had Martin winning continental titles, John Ryder winning the interim world title. You had every single one of us in that gym had titles and it wasn't just one it was about I had at this point like four right that I don't know how many you had Ricky Burns and he's still a world champion mm. but I, like how we haven't won it yet I don't know but listen it is what it is he just carries on he does he, he don't do it for he don't do what he does for the uh, for the awards and all that stuff don't get me wrong it's nice to have him he does for the love of the sport and um, to see us progress and it, that makes him feel feel uh, proud and good and it's like he treats us like we're his kids do you understand 
Yeah, literally, it's, it's house. That's, that's what I think. Yeah, so like for me, I live with him, so it's 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 mad. Like I see him as a like a second father. It's um, it's mad. But definitely, uh, to answer your question, yeah, I think potentially um, this could be the year he puts a head trainer over here because I don't I don't believe anyone <clears throat> uh, trainer wise is probably has done what he's done this year. Yeah, I spoke to Charlie, um, Charlie Sims last week, and he mentioned how Tony would be the perfect fit for Anthony Joshua to come back. And this was before I believe the Tyson rumors were back. Um, but what yeah. do you think of that reuniting yeah. that match up with, with Tony and AJ? Yeah, I believe it'd be good, but obviously you gotta understand uh He's a big personality, Joshua. Do you understand? For him to come to the gym, he's going to need a lot of one-to-one time. Not that he's like a fucking prima donna or anything. He's, um, he's really been working with other trainers. It's gonna, he's going to have to try and sort of get him back to... Or it's not going to be a big transition, but back to things. So he's going to need a lot of time with him. And his, his hands are full at the minute. But I, I, I believe that that would be a great, uh, great fit. For AJ, um, yeah, obviously he just got to do what's best for him at the minute. He's he's got a big fight, probably the, one of the biggest fights of the century. Well, it's the biggest fight of the century, um, and yeah, it's, he's just got to do what's best for him. It'd be it'd be nice to have him in the gym, but like I said, he's got to do what's best for him. Yeah, it's, it seems like that fight is genuinely close. This time I'm hearing, even from people involved, it sounds positive. Yeah, well, um, it's, yeah, it's, I, I think it's happening. Is this sign? I don't know. I know Eddie put out a thing, um, a little thing on Twitter today that it's been, it's been accepted on the, on our, like, AJ and Matching side. Um, but, yeah, I don't know whether it's been signed. Nothing's been signed, I don't think. So, yeah, it'd be nice to see how it plays out in the next couple of weeks and see if it actually do happen. Because it's three days, no, two days after my birthday. So, it'd be a nice little present for myself. Hopefully, I get a free ticket and I don't have to pay. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you would, Joe. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone will be able to wait for that. It's exciting. And uh, staying on the gym, obviously, the the e bank Ben stuff is heated up over the last week. What did you make of the gloves are off first? The face off, I should call it, with um Adi. Um, yeah, Chris I, I Chris came it. across funny. You have to admit. Uh, two seconds. Uh, two seconds, bro. No worries. My missus calling me. She's been a pest. Okay. Uh yeah, yummy. Um yeah. Yeah, so I enjoyed it personally. Um, I think Chris was trying to get under the skin. Mm. You see, just the, the the things he was saying was just silly. It w- it was it funny though, stupid. like regardless of how, because I don't think Connor genuinely cares about what he's saying. But for the humor side of things, you can see why people find. Yeah, it. well, he, he, Connor, I know Connor, and I know it's because he knows he's. He knows he's trying to take the piss and just yeah. that's what gets under that's what was getting I, you could see like Connor wasn't getting angry but he was like he was up off his chair and, <laughs> and I'm thinking go on Connor just chin him over the table <laughs> but over the table but um nah it, it was uh yeah I enjoyed it and it was it was it was good and like just kind of just shut him down on everything he was saying but yeah I I, I um I'm looking forward to that fight, and I've never been this excited mm. for a fight in my life. And the closest I've come to it was being as excited was when Mayweather boxed Ricky Hatton. Um, so yeah, this is um, this is yeah, this is major. <laughs> and a couple of days ago, obviously, after I think it was the day after the face off came out, Chris said. Well, senior said that he was pulling junior out of the fight. I'm sure you know that that's that's not true at all. Connor's still training and the fight's still going ahead. Yeah, well, um, that the same day, Connor was in the gym and he was getting ready. 
<laughs> but like the day before, no, a couple hours before, Nigel was telling me what like we were speaking in the gym, and it was like, um, it was just relaying and what pretty much what Chris says on the like when he said I'm pulling my turn out. Mm. So like, I don't know what. Um, I don't know what Nigel said to him or whatever else. I think he just laughed it off and what. But I know that's not gonna happen. I knew I knew that I said and Connor like it's all over this all, all over the, the social media. So Connor was like, Wow. So but then um I think he was he was um he was told and reassured that that was not what's gonna happen. This fight's on whatever else. So the fight is definitely on and yeah, I think it's just a I think it's just to get people talking even more. Yeah, it's funny. Connor, yeah, Connor's reaction was like um, something, something, something. He's got daddy issues. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was laughing at that. Um, yeah, it was funny. Yeah, man. All funny. right, I'll um, I'll leave you to it. I'll have to come down before November the fifth. I'm sure you'll be out in Dubai a couple of weeks before, so I'll come down to the gym. Um, we'll do this face to face. But it's good to speak to you. Um, yeah, you too, mama. Hopefully the rest of the camp goes well, and look forward to seeing um good end to the year. Yeah, with you, bro. Thank you very much.